my god! Samsung! So this is a Samsung Galaxy S3 GTI 9 300 that I've had for like, what, two years? And today, we're gonna be installing Cyan Engine Mod 11 on this bad boy. So, let's get started. But, to do all that, we need a computer. And you may be wondering, how do I boot up this phone? Well, I charge the phone, I take out the battery, I put it back in, and I have to do that very quickly, and um, the phone boots up. And it has another problem, and that problem is that the phone has a slightly fat battery. So this is how we're gonna put CM11 on this phone. So step one, we need to install TWRP. The problem is that I forgot how to put TWRP on these phones, so I'm gonna have to learn that all over again. Okay, so I just downloaded the, I think, two necessary files to install, T, to install TWRP on my Galaxy S3. Also, did you hear that? TWRP on my Galaxy S3. Very nice. Um, no, it's not. 30 minutes later. Update. Um, it's taking, what, it's been like, what, 30 minutes? And I'm um, still trying to install TWRP. Minutes later. Okay, so since um, that I watched the YouTube tutorial and it couldn't help me, I'm now using ChatGPT because I have completely forgot how to install TWRP on any phone, as I said in the beginning of the video. Ten minutes later. Okay, so we're in download mode and we are going to flash TWRP through Odin. So it says pass here, but this little Android is stuck at this update since the power button and the volume up button are broken i cannot get into recovery mode so um, yeah i'm gonna have to do it through a computer Fuck. also we need to load the cm11 um rom into the phone so as you can see i'm putting the cm11 file into the phone so step one has been complete come on swipe god damn it I think you should go to install, then um, to the, to where I put the CM11 bot. The, not wrong, wrong. This is it, boys. Here we go. Swipe and off we go. Wait, what? So I wiped the cache or Dalvik, whatever you want to call it, and now it's. I think we're booting. And it seems to be stuck. Oh, it's not stuck. Okay, never mind. It's back at Edward 4.1. Hey, what is this though? Imagine if it installed the OS just like that, which is very unlikely. Nope, something went wrong with the installation. Okay, so we're back at recovery mode. All right, boys, here we go. Install, CM11, and swipe. Okay, so far so good. It's looking nice, I like that. Okay, it's doing something. That's, that's, that's good. It's also giving me the option to cancel. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's dis disconnected. Let's see if it will boot on to Cyan and the Mod. I'm so nervous right now. Okay. No way, bro. Huh. It's Cyan and Mod. Huh. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, let's go. But wait, we're not done yet. It has to boot into CM11. Oh. Oh my god, welcome to Cyanogen Mod. Holy sh. And this is it, boys. Android 4.4 on a Samsung Galaxy S3 GTI 9 300. Yeah. But we are not done yet. Okay, so I have officially installed G apps on this Android 4.4.4 Samsung Galaxy S3. I also had to take a little break because I had to eat it. So, uh, like, what? Oh. 1 p.m. So um, yeah, which means that 
After three hours of hard work, I have officially installed Android 4.4.4 on the Samsung Galaxy S3 GTI 9300. So if you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe because this took a very long time to make. So that's all boys. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Okay, so it's been two weeks since filming the video you just saw. The phone is working perfectly fine, but the battery's draining a little fast. Anyways, that's all. Thanks for watching and goodbye.